Hi everyone, welcome to the another video of Postman series. So today in this video, we are going to see about what is Newman. Okay. So earlier we have seen how to run the collections uh, through manually via Postman, and we have seen schedule run within the Postman, and we have seen the Postman CLI also, right? And we have seen the monitors. Now it is a Newman. So what is Newman? So Newman is nothing. <clears throat> Newman is a command line collection runner for Postman. Okay. So this is command line runner. Okay. So what does this mean in the sense? So if you want to run a collection, you need a Postman interface, which is Postman UI. Application is required to run your collections. Or you can use the Postman CLI to run your, I mean, Postman collection in the command line. Right. So there is one more option, which is Newman. So the Newman is a command line runner collection runner for the Postman. Okay. It will, it will give you uh, I mean, the future to run your uh, Postman collections or anything like a test, whatever that you have written on the collection directly from the command line. Okay. So now, before we, we how we have to install it, we have to do the installation for the new man. Okay. So for the run, this new man is running on NPM registry. Okay. So now, what is NPM? So let's go to NPM new man. Okay. So just go to Google and type this uh, NPM as a new man. So this is what NPM new man is coming, correct? So when you go inside this, okay, so here you can see NPM. So what is NPM in a sense? NPM is a node package manager, okay? So like a dependencies or modules, whatever we call in Java, we have jar files, right? So similarly, this NPM is node package manager. So this new man is written on top of Node.js. Okay. So here you can see the new man is a command line collection runner for the postman. Okay. It allows you to effortlessly run your test collections directly from the command line. Okay. So you have to install this. So if you just click on the getting started, so we have to install this new man in, in I mean, uh, to, to use this new man option in your local laptop. Okay. So if you want to install this new man, okay. So before that, what you have to know, you can you can see here to run new man, ensure that you have the Node.js. The version should be greater than 10. Okay, because why do we need a Node.js? This NPM new man, right? So this is written on top of the Node.js. Okay. So to execute this particular module or particular manager or library, you need an environment, the runtime environment, right? So that is what the Node.js. Okay, so similarly, how you, uh, I mean, if you are planning to execute a Java program, either you need JRE or JDK, correct? Because the, the it, it need an environment to execute with code, right? So runtime environment. So that environment is, here it is a Node.js, okay? So first you have to install the Node.js. Here you can see the Node.js is a source code or pre-built installer from your platform, okay? And, and start the developing today. So now you can just go to the home page and you can see what is Node.js. You can see Node.js is an open source. Okay. Crash platform, JavaScript runtime environment. Okay. So here you can go to the download. In the download. So based on your operating system, you can download the installation file or you can download the zip file also. Okay. So once this installation is done, so how do you confirm the Node.js install? So it is similar to JDK. But here you don't want to set the environment variables like a system variables. So it will automatically set. Okay. So right after the installation, what you can do, you can just go to node hyphen V to check the version of the node that we have installed. Okay. So now I think uh, let me check. Now it is 18.12.1. Okay. So I have installed earlier. Let's see what is the version I'm getting. Okay, my system is slow. Maybe you will get the person immediately right after you typing node hyphen space. Sorry, node space hyphen. Okay, let me check with that. Yeah, so here you can see it is coming as a 12.18.3, which is my older version. Okay, so but for new man, if it is anything greater than 10, that is fine. Okay, so after this installation, so we have to install the new man. Okay, so we have, so for the new man, if you want to use the new man, so you have to install the Node.js. Okay, after Node.js, we have to install the new man. Okay, 
So now let's see how to install the new one. So this is a, I mean, a command line tool. I mean, command line uh, statement. You have to copy this. Okay. So let's copy this and go to your command prompt. Just paste this. Okay. npm install. So you can use hyphen g. Hyphen g is nothing. The dependency or the, the node package manager will be installed in your computer as a global level. Okay, if you are going to use in some particular folder directory, then you don't want to use it as a G. Okay, so new man. The moment when you click on enter, so the, now the new man installation will happen. Okay, so the reason why we are putting as a hyphen G in a sense, it will the dependency will be installed across your computer. Okay, so you can run your Postman collection through the new man from any folder directory. If you are installing into some particular directory, then you have to use the new man collection runner in the particular folder, particular folder directory. Okay. Because it is going to install the node, the node libraries to your computer across the global level. Okay. So let's wait for some time. This installation will start. So after that, we can we can we can see how to run our collections through the new man. Okay. So now the installation is started. So let's wait for some time. Okay, so now the installation is done. Okay, so how do I confirm this new man is installed? Okay, so you can go to the same website where we copied this installation command, right? So just scroll down, you can see the lot of usages will be there. Okay, so in this, when you scroll down, you can see the options. So now I want to confirm my new man is installed. Okay, so simply type new man hyphen B. Okay, the moment when you type, so you will be getting the new man version. So you can see the new man version here. Uh, by going to this version tab here. So right now, this is 5.3.2. That is the latest one. Okay. So now let's go and check here. Yes, you can see 5.3.2 is coming. Okay. So now the installation is done. So the installation part is you have to install the Node.js. After that, you have to install the new man. Okay. So now I want to run my collection through the new man. Okay. So let's go to the readme again. So this is what the usage it is. Okay. So to run your new man, I mean, to run your postman collection via new man CLI. So we have to use this command called new man run. Okay. So now let's go to the postman. So this is a workflow. So make sure that workflow is working fine in my postman collection runner. Okay. I'm going to run this postman collection. So let's go to the run. Okay. I, I'm going to do the manually things. Okay. It is it is working fine. You can see two not one is coming. It is it is a test case file because we have made this intentionally two page. Okay. So after this, you can see everything is a two not one, two hundred, two hundred everything. So now I want to run this collection through the new one. So what we can do? So let's go to this export option. Okay. So I'm going to export this, and this is a recommended one. Okay, two point one. Just click on the export tab. So now I'm going to sort store this file in my folder. Okay, so this is a workflow. Is my my collection name? You can see workflows dot postman underscore collection is a file name. I mean, it's an extension. Okay, and it will be stored as a JSON file. Okay, so now let's go to that particular folder. This is my folder, and this is a file we have exported now. Okay, so now what I can do? I can I'm in the terminal now. Correct. So in the terminal, I have to pass this particular file path. Okay, you can see here. This is a file path. Right, so example slash collection JSON is a file path, right? So now let's go to our use case. So this is my collection file path, okay? So I'm going to copy this file path. So workflow, this is a file name, okay? So make sure you are copying the file location directly along with the dot JSON file, okay? So somebody know people will miss this dot JSON and it will not run, okay? So I have to come here. The command I have to use is new man run. Then you can paste the directory. So JSON file directly. Okay, so I'm going to click on enter now. Okay, now we can see it has started our execution. So here you can see new man, and the workflow is the our collection name. Okay, so after that it has a request one to request file. So that is running in the our our designed order. Okay, so we have made like a one two three three two 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 five and four. Correct. So that is running expect. I mean, as expected. And you can see the details also. Some test cases are failed. So you can add some more test cases also. The test case also will be will be displayed here. Okay. So now when you scroll down here, you can see the number of iterations is only one. 
number of requests is five requests and the test scripts i mean we have written one test script right so here you can see this coming as a one one assertion is failed right so let me go to that work level so the test okay i don't return any test okay so total five request script that is why the test script is coming and one assertion is failed okay so here you can see one assertion is failed correct and the details of the failure also you can see here okay so we were expecting the status code as a 200 but we got 201 okay this is intentionally we made this one so now let's go back to this one and i will make it as a 201 to make it this use case as a pass so now i have made the changes okay since i have made the changes again you have to export this collection otherwise it will not work okay because we are exporting this manually and we are storing in our local folder so you have to if you make any changes on the collection again you have to export okay so i'm going to run this command again so now this time all the assertion i mean we have written only one assertion that should come as a pass so here you can see the status code is coming as a 201 which is a pass it is coming in the green color and there are no periods okay so this is how we have to run our postman collection through the new okay and there are a lot of options where we can use the new one. So, for example, it is, it is running for only one iteration. Okay. So, in a postman, we have option to run for multiple iterations. Right. So, when you go for this collection runner window, if I click on the new run, so here I have an iteration to increase the count. Correct. Right? So, the same option is available in new man also. Okay. So, there are a lot of options available. So, for example, I want to send the environment variables or I want to pass. So, when I select on the schedule run, or manual run also you can see we, i have this option to upload the data file right so when i go for a schedule run i have option to select the environment so this this options also available in the new man okay so now for example i want to run for multiple time right so number of iteration so what we can do now we can go here and you can check the usage okay there are a lot of usage so you can see number of iteration will come as a hyphen n i think let's see Yeah, so hyphen n. Okay, so now for example, I'm going to the same thing. So I'm giving this command hyphen n and I'm giving it a three iteration or let's go for a two iteration. Okay, so now the same way. Okay, so the collection, how you select this as a two and when you when you click on the run button, so it has to, I mean, it is going to run for two times, right? So iterations. So one, two, five, one time, again one, two, five. So that is what we are using in the new man also. And here you can see, Additionally, we have sent this option hyphen n2. Okay. You can see iteration one is done and iteration two also. Done. Okay. And at the end of the report, also you can see iteration two. Okay. So there are a lot of new man options uh, that I will cover in my next video. Okay. So the preconditions to, to run your collections through the new man. So you have to install the Node.js and you have to install the new man. Okay. After installing the new man, you can confirm the node. I mean, after installing the node.js, you can go to node space hyphen b to confirm the node.js version. And you can go for a new man version also. So this is a new man version. You can double confirm. Okay. After that, you can export your collection and you can run. So there are another way also when you go for a share option. So here you can see run via API. Right. So this is also called CA continuous integration with the postman API. Okay, so for this, what you have to provide in the sense, you have to provide the key, okay, your API key that we have seen in earlier videos, right? So just click on the generate key that will navigate to your profile. So from there, you can generate the key, okay? So this way also we'll see in the next video, okay? So that's all about this video. Uh, this is how we'll run the new man. So there are some other options like you can generate a report also. So we will be covering those all in upcoming videos, okay? Thank you guys.